I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant. And it was like they couldn't care less. That's the trouble with this world. A life's still a life, whether it's mine or Pug's, it still has to count for something. If a crime to humanity is committed, someone should have to pay for it. The Chameleon had killed Pug for no good reason and had kidnapped Elena. I'm not about to let him get away with it. Not today. I heard that some rich guy a few years back bought the remaining pieces of an ancient European castle. This must be the place. As I approach the coordinates given in the shredded note from GRS, I see a massive structure jutting out from a deeply forested area. The bastion looks like a medieval castle, but there's nothing romantic about this place. It seems to lay there, a festering evil, like a paper cut gone bad. From here I can get a good look at the chameleon. He's pacing around, smoking like a brush fire and talking to himself. I don't know what he's smoking, but he looks higher than an infield fly. I've got to distract him somehow and get him out of the room. Then I'll figure out a way to get him out of here for good. I almost bought some chairs just like these at my neighbor's garage sale. It's the chameleon. Looks like he's enjoying his rich imported cigarette. Maybe I can get him to stop smoking permanently. First I'll have to create some sort of a smoke screen to get him out of the main room. Even the chandelier looks evil. The chameleon has Elena in a laser field. The effect of the beam is probably keeping her sedated. With the chameleon out of the way, I can find out how to shut it off. That roaring fire makes me wish I'd brought fixins for some ores. That sun face reminds me of the cute little sun on the Raisin Bran box. Well, I'll be darned. That's Uncle Morty, and he was not a handsome man. This gargoyle's only got one eye, and it looks removable. That's an odd place for a vase. I wonder if I could use it as a distraction. Well, any cult that worships sea monkeys can't be all bad. Looks like a perfectly harmless bungee cord. It's probably used by the cult as some kind of diabolical torture device. These weapons would be really useful if someone hadn't bolted them to the wall. Two antique knights. I'll bet Rook wouldn't mind capturing these. Well, any cult that worships sea monkeys can't be all bad. I don't want to know what the chameleon uses this V-clamp for. No 
Okay, so it's not the best looking weapon ever created. I just hope it works. All I need now is some ammo. Okay, the cigarette's in place. Now if you'll just go for it. Yeah, here he comes. Come on. Come on. Over to the table for some real smoking enjoyment. He's got it. That's it. Smoke away, sucker. Gotcha. Didn't anyone ever tell you, these things can kill you? I underestimated you, Murphy. Viral powder in my cigarette. Very clever. You're a worthy opponent. You know, I think the world would be a much nicer place without people like you. People who go around stuffing other people's heads into water coolers. But you've accomplished nothing. <clears throat> Except now, I'll be a martyr in the new order. And you'll die with all the other vermin in the great Luvia. And when the earth has returned to a state of perfection, and the purified races return after the waiting. My name will live forever. Yeah, I guess that's good in theory. Too bad you won't be around to enjoy it. Death means nothing. I would die a thousand times to help fulfill it. The sacred prophecy. Enjoy your victory while you can, Murphy. Tomorrow night, you will die. <laughs> I caught a lucky break getting rid of the chameleon this easy. Death is always an ugly business, but if anyone deserved it, he did. Now I've got to get Elena out of the force field. Mmm, bread, milk, taco sauce, damn! I know I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I won't be needing this ashtray. This whole incident has almost convinced me to stop smoking. Chameleon has a lane and a laser field. The effect of the beam is probably a shield. Reminds me of my deodorant soap. Being a man doesn't mean you have to smell like one.
I've always enjoyed flipping switches, especially when I'm not absolutely certain what the switch does. Tex! I knew you'd come! That... that monster came to the motel. He looked just like you. So I opened the door. He must have knocked me out. It was terrible, the things he said to me. Oh, Tex, hold me! Kiss me! Listen, Elena, I'd love to kiss you, but I just had a big chili dog with, uh, <clears throat> extra onions. Besides, every time I look at you, I can't help but think of your sister, and that gives me a stomach ache. But Tex, I... I think I'm in love with you. Look, I'm sorry, but I've been burned a few too many times. And your sister was a real flamethrower. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to make you stay? Hmm. Do you play Twisty? Ah, eh, never mind. Look, don't get me wrong, Elena. I think you're as, as cute as a button. But right now, I got a job to do, and I've got to do it alone. Unless I stop the cult from executing their plan, we're all gonna be toast. Men worth having are always running off. Maybe it wouldn't work out for us anyway. If they don't kill you, let me buy you a drink. I owe you a big one. Okay. Well, maybe someday you can buy me one of those 46-ounce super gulpers. What I really need right now is a good lead. The chameleon said that he was supposed to meet up with someone named Feral Puss at a place called the Broken Skull. Does that help? Yeah, it does, as a matter of fact. He summoned to his presence a thousand hale and light-hearted friends to the deep seclusion of one of his castellated abbeys. This was an extensive and magnificent structure, the creation of the prince's own eccentric yet august taste. A strong and lofty wall girdled it in. Without was the Red Death. Is that the final group? Yes, brother. Everyone has arrived. And all the provisions are stored. What about the wine? We hadn't received the shipment when I last checked the inventory. All is in order, brother. We have sufficient supplies to take us into the next century. Excellent. I will notify the master that everything is prepared. The celebration is set to begin at the appointed hour.